your face right now. I wish I could record that. It's like. <laughs> it's time we do something we've been waiting a long time for. We're going to Fabo. Have you ever had food out of a wall type vending machine? All the time. You lie. You've never been to Fabo. We thought it was Fibo until this morning. We went on an old tram once. We did. Fabo's like super popular and famous and we've both somehow not been to one. I think the problem with us going to one is that everything is fried and we try and for the most part stay away from a lot of fried food best fries in Amsterdam. Man, man, are churros from Spain or Mexico? Yeah. Fitting this fry into my mouth. They're actually like fried dough. And said, give me a glazed donut, straight up like just french fry. Very excited for this beautiful schnitzel. It's quite rude. They literally put hot food in little compartments in the wall. You put your money and you take it. It's, it's kind of a thing. I actually didn't know that they had a full kitchen or a partial kitchen or something in the back that they cook this food. Where right? did you think the food came from? I thought that they stock it in the morning and as soon as it's out, that's it. Sorry. So like, just sat there all day out. long? Hey man, that's what I thought. No, no, I think it's actually made fresh. And in fact, it's never frozen. It's, it's made fresh in their like central kitchen and they cook it in store and put it in, in the, the boxes. Everyone here loves it. I mean, Favo is like the place to go, especially after drinking. Does everyone love it? I don't know, all of our Dutch friends. Please let us know if you love it. They will. Um, <laughs> so we're gonna go to multiple Fabos, three of them. <laughs> he's, going, he's going to Fabo too. He's going to Fabo too. All right, let's do this. I looked in here and I'm like, oh, they only have one thing at this Fabo. We can only get to one thing that's in there. Sorry, it all looks the same to me. I'm gonna go with the cheese souffle. Let's start there, yeah? We're going old school, we're using coins. That's actually harder to open than I thought it was going to be. Mmm, ah. smells good. All right, so here we go. First time at Fabo, casse souffle. Just hit my tooth. I swear, this is not my first time eating food. It's actually not bad. It kind of has like, um, if anyone's ever had, at least Americans, fish sticks, like when you were a kid. Do you like, like fish sticks? I used to eat fish sticks all the time. I dip them in ketchup. How much do you like fish sticks? What, is this a joke? Oh. See, I can't even like say anything. I wish the cheese was a little bit warmer, but you know, what do you want? I would give this a 7 out of 10. I've told you before how much I love to film in restaurants, Fabo included. People hate us, I understand. You didn't like my fish sticks joke? No, lecker. It's good, no, it's really good. It's, it's creamier cheese than I thought. I was picturing more, it's, it's howda, but I thought it was probably gonna be more solid somehow. It's not. It's creamy. The crunch is really good. One for one at Fabo. Okay, I actually kind of really love this. Fried cheese. I mean, like, what's not to like? With every bite I take, I am in love with this a little bit more. Alright, we have to try croquettes. We're gonna start with the chicken. Or we're gonna get both. Chicken and beef. Is that the plan? Chicken and beef. So, chicken croquette first. And the beef croquette. We have a beef and a chicken croquette, and I don't remember which one is which. All right, we'll try this one. Um. I'm a texture eater. I don't know about that. It's like mushy in this middle when you get through the crunch, and I don't really like mushy. That's the chicken one. Kip. It's literally like a like mashed potato, but with meat and then deep fried. Hmm. Interesting. Oh God. Are you scared? I don't like stuff like this. 
It's actually not bad. It tastes like mashed potatoes. Did you say it tastes like potatoes? It has like some kind of spice or something in there. It's actually five out of 10. I don't think that's all that bad. Can someone tell us how they make this? Is it like pulverized chicken, pulverized beef, and they make it into like a it's a creamy it ragu. Like, I don't know how you fry that, though. That's what I mean. That's like, you, But then you just roll it in, like, panko breadcrumbs or something? How do you roll a paste? You know they make sushi? With, like, the things that they roll sushi with? Maybe it's in there. No, that's too involved. Please, somebody, tell us. Your face right now? I wish I could record that. It's like... <laughs> like, you're, you're so worried for me. That's worse. See, like, you can see the chunks of beef in here. This one is not my jam. Three out of ten. Missing that cheese souffle right about now. FYI, I know just enough Dutch to know when people are talking about us. They're speaking English, so... They weren't, though. <laughs> terrified of this. Mm -mm. No. That is... The flavor is just whatever. Like, it almost doesn't matter. The texture bothers me on a deep, deep level. I don't like that in my mouth at all. Yeah, that's just cheese. That's the bomb eating, so it's like, you know. She's like asking me questions, and I'm like, well, I'm a Fabo expert now, because I've eaten, like, literally six bites of Fabo in my life. We got another cheese souffle for the trip because that was just appetizers at Fabo. Now we're gonna go have dinner at Fabo. First thoughts, the cheese souffle was far better than I expected. The croquettes, far worse than I expected. That was trouble for me. I, I've had bitter ballin before. I don't like bitter ballin either and it's the same thing. It's like a beef stew, deep fried. And there's something about the texture of the stew that just can't do it. This is Ferdinand Bolstrat, we're in the pipe. Fabo is actually named after this street because it's where the first Fabo bakery was supposed to be. Yes, it opened as a bakery in the 40s? Some, in the 40s, yeah. Yeah. I was doing my very accurate, very thorough research for our vlog. Sorry to interrupt, this one is better than the other one. Yeah, it's this really one's, like, good. fresher. Mmm! Good. So, anyway. But thanks for the name of your channel, Thanks for your input. Nate and Katrina do the world. Oh. Is it that Instagram, bro? You're gonna be- it's Yeah, on we're on YouTube. Instagram. It's gonna be on You're gonna be in the ground level. You'll be here at the beginning. All right, <laughs> guys, welcome to Amsterdam. Thank you. What's your name? Uh, my name's Mo. I'm Mo. a local here. Nate nice, and Katrina. Yeah, nice to meet you guys. I Don't have right. Fibo stuff on. Yeah, it's all right, it's all right. <laughs> Cheese souffle. She, she already got it. There you are. <laughs> all right, I'm gonna be on YouTube, That's right? very kind of you. Yeah, I'm gonna we'll be on put YouTube. you on there, yeah. You will be on YouTube. Next all right, week. cool. You'll, you won't be famous, but you'll be on YouTube. That's no big deal. Not yet, not Okay, yet. I like it, I like No, it. thank you. Hey, have a good one, bye-bye. Bye, nice to meet you. So anyway, story, 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 Fabo. That was an appropriate street interaction with strangers. He was nice. He was very nice. It was good, it was fun. We, we we're very, very, very aware of what assholes we are. We know, so you don't have to tell us in the comments. We already know, and that's our tram. Nice work. We've changed locations. We're in the very, 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 very south of Amsterdam. Very, very. We're on the Amstelveen, Amsterdam border. We're at a shopping area called Gelderlandplein. Very good. And there's a Fabo here, and this is where we're gonna have our main courses for the evening. <laughs> main course. So how many Fabos are there? 60-ish. Ish. In the Netherlands. In the Netherlands. With 22 in Amsterdam. That's a very alone. exact so number. A... Did you just look that up? It may be. Oh. Hey Katrina, there's a Fabo right there. Go get your food. Just because it looks like a vending machine does not mean that it's a Fabo. There's no food in there. Some drugs. Oh. That actually, that's one of the coolest things about the Netherlands is when you go to the pharmacy, you don't have to go up to the front and get your prescription. You can come out here, you put in your little code and like the little door opens automatically and you take it and you get your drugs, then you take your drugs. Drugs are bad. And you feel good. They don't have drugs here, let's be real. Ooh, this is like fancy Fabo. Dance club Fabo. Dance club Fabo. We have a conundrum because this Fabo has no food in any of the vending machine walls things. I kind of don't feel right about ordering at the counter and sitting at a table at a Fabo. Doesn't seem like a thing we should do. On we go. We're gonna try this again at a different Fabo. Zelstrat. Zelstrat? Zelstrat. Zelstrat? Zelstrat? Something like that. We have a hope for this location. Fingers crossed. I see food in vending machines. Mm. 
we've ordered at the counter because the foods that we wanted were not in the vending machine doors. So that is good to know, that you don't have to eat out of the vending machines. You can also order at the front and you get hot food. The lighting in here is also great, so when you come in here, it's beautiful. And we look pretty. So we have chicken wings. Three chicken wings. They might have been there a long time. Like since this morning. Free fried potatoes, these actually look great. And a grill burger. I felt like I needed to order the grill burger just because everyone says to get the grill burger, but I added cheese. The main courses at Favor. Take Why is this me funny? out for a nice little date night. Only this is what we the do. the best for my girl. A little sketch shot on the burger. The burgers, the bun looks fine. You know, fast food burger bun. Oh, I get half Here, the burger. Look at, this. Look at this. On your half. I'm just going to dip my half of the grill burger into the ketchup. Okay. See. Cheers. Cheers. It's fine. It's like McDonald's par to me. If I do this again, I would get a double because the patties are very thin. Very, that's probably a one ounce patty. It's very small, yeah. Those of you out in the world watching our videos, thank you, first of all. Sorry, also. Um, if you've had both a Fabo grill burger and a McDonald's hamburger, tell us which, which do you think is better? When was the last time you had a McDonald's burger? A regular McDonald's burger? Just a burger. Yeah, like to contrast and compare. I couldn't tell you. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know either. I'm not highfalutin or snobbish about McDonald's, whatever. There's just usually better options. So The bun was soft? Yeah, but the, there's... The, the meat tasted fine. The food it's is warm. The, the food is fresh. I'm not mad about it, and it's gone. Chicken wings. There's the endless age-old debate of drummies versus wings. They have solved that for you by giving you both in one. That is like a complete drummy and wing in one. Say drummy one more time. Drummy. I'm a drummy guy. Are you a wing person no, or drummy? No, I'm a drummy Drummy? Person. So they gave me sambal, olenek, spicy sauce. Oh, nice. I like these fries. The fries are good. So I'm gonna take the, the drummy, put a little sambal on the drummy. He's the, the chicken guy. I love wings. They're so, they're terrible for you. When you look up the calories and fat in wings versus like chicken breast, horrible. This is not a health food video. Clearly, <laughs> but I'm, I was gonna say, I miss wings. I don't eat wings very often. These are so good. That's not bad. It's better with the sambal on it. Would you rate it? Don't give me some weird rating like Christmas trees or something. No, no, no. Who's gonna give me a weird rating? Standard rating. I give this like seven and a half toothpicks out of a billion crescent moons. I like the... The skin is like light and crispy. Yeah, the coating is, it's not Whatever. even breading, yeah. it's like a coating. Yeah. It's good. I'm pleasantly surprised yeah, by, the, by the Fabo chicken wings. Not bad. I would say overall, our main course dinner here, pretty good. Yeah, I would agree. We are making a Fabo report. It's a legendary place. Huh? It's legendary and I've been here very long and never eaten at one until today. I wrote a song about it. Did you? Wow. Yeah. Nice. You could use it as a song <laughs> Everyone's so friendly. We just met a guy who said he wrote a song about Fabo. I mean, Fabo means a lot. Like he literally just offered his song to us because I was like kind of gently going to say like, no bro, we got our own thing, you know. We use the jazzy sounds. You told him that you couldn't afford it. I did and he's tell. Like, oh no! No, it's you could free. use it for free. You could it for free, and I'm sure it's really good. That's how they get you, though. They give you it for free, and then they sue you later. We might have walked away with another cheese souffle. That one's very old. Oh. Yeah. That um, you oh. didn't pull the door down there. You pushed a button, and it like flipped down automatically. Fancy. Fancy. So, last chance for romance here at the last Fabo of the day. <laughs> Just kidding. Light some candles and like pop some champagne. And... I don't drink. I know. I'm no fun. That's what you're all learning. Mate's no fun. Katrina's the fun one. What is this light in my eyes right now? I, oh. I, I don't remember what this is. So, one of the things you'll learn if you spend any amount of time through the seasons in the Netherlands is when the sun comes out after a long winter, everyone sits at the cafes and restaurants outside just facing the sun. They don't even face their partner. They no. face towards the sun. 
and they take it in because they've been missing all this vitamin D for all these months. I used to think it was so funny to see that like when I would visit here and now after living here for almost two years and not seeing the sun for many of those days, I totally understand you guys because I want to do the same thing right now. <laughs> it's not what we're here for. We're here for dessert. <laughs> Ice cream is melting. Yeah, I tried to wait. We have all the desserts. Before we even start the desserts, well, hold on. Do you know what my takeaway from today is, actually? Diabetes? No. Um, my takeaway from today, Phoebo is friendly. Everybody was very friendly everywhere we went. Phoebo is friendly. We're in the shadows of the Olympic Stadium, where they had the Olympics back in 1920, I forget. A very famous Dutch footballer, Johan Cruyff, Cruyff, very famous, number 14. He used to come to this Fabo and he really liked it. And he said it's great because he could see the Olympic Stadium from this Fabo. We're just like Johan Cruyff. What year was that? Um, he was big here in, I believe, the 60s, so this 70s, Fabo 70s. has been here since the 70s? This is an old one, yeah. What? Yeah. I mean, maybe the building's new and it's been redone, but I believe this is old. I wrote a whole thing about how he liked this one. Uh, that milkshake's thick. That's like a thick shake. All it is, though, is he just put soft serve in there and put some chocolate. Oh. So there's no milk or anything, like, shaken. It's not enough chocolate. It's oh, like watered-down chocolate. It's not good. You don't like that? No. I don't like the giant Ew. straw. The what straws. What is that flavor? It's chocolate. Why is it like, warm? Well, it's frozen. It's not warm. It's not warm. I'm talking about warm. It's not warm. She's what crazy. What is that? I don't like that flavor. They have good chocolate here too, so I, I like had high hopes. They have great chocolate here. This is a lion ice co. Uh, that's a lion candy bar? A lion candy bar. Was it toffee? Yeah, or I caramel? think it has toffee or one or the other. I don't remember. But he put caramel in it. Like he took this big bottle of caramel and was just like, what if you dip this in the milkshake? There's no rules, Katrina, but you didn't like the flavor of the milkshake. Maybe I'll like it better when it's on some soft serve. Unlikely. I like soft serve cones. I underestimated Fabo. I did too. Do I think I'm gonna go here all the time? No. No. But? It's still fast food. In America, Mark. if you had a 70 or 80 year old fast food chain that put their food in little doors in the wall and still sold everything for like three euros, three dollars, do you know how bad that food quality would be in the US? Really bad. But I actually thought this was gonna be like lower quality than it turned out to be. I agree. It's fresh, nothing tasted really old. Nope. Who knew? Fabo. Right? Like, well, I didn't know. They have soft serve ice cream. Soft serve ice cream is pretty good. I would 100% after drinking and going out at 2 in the morning go get one of those cheese souffles. Cheese souffle for the win. Absolutely. Probably two or three cheese souffles and maybe even a burger. I don't know. But yeah, I absolutely would. You good? You okay? I'm good. I was going to say goodbye to the nice people watching our extended Fabo tour here. Don't judge a book by its cover.